Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up HDR on your PlayStation 5 so you can go ahead and get better colors on your 4K TV or monitors. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So HDR stands for high dynamic range, and this will allow you to go ahead and get better colors and more accurate colors on your PlayStation 5. And this is very easy to go ahead and calibrate and adjust. However, not all 4K TVs have HDR supported. So one thing you wanna go ahead and do is check to see if your TV has it supported. By going back to the home screen on the PlayStation 5, then going to the top right, to settings and selecting this option and scrolling down to screen and video. Then under video output, if we go to video output information, on the top right, you can see under resolution, I have a 4K TV and it supports 60 Hertz. So I'm capped to the 60 frames per second mode. Now, if I scroll down to HDR, I can see my TV supports it. Now, if I go back under the screen, I can see my resolution, my 4K video transfer rate, and then we have HDR. Now, if you select HDR, there's three different options. You can turn it off, you can leave it always on, or on when supported. Now, if you're gonna be playing older PlayStation 4 games on your PS5, there's been an issue where HDR isn't supported in the game, and if you have the settings selected to always on, well, it's gonna try to have HDR in a game that doesn't support HDR, and the colors in the game will be very, very dark or completely off. So I highly suggest going to on when supported so you don't run into those issues in older PlayStation 4 games. Now, under HDR, if we go to adjust HDR, we can calibrate and set up HDR on our TV. And this is very easy to do. So you're gonna have three different screens where you have to go ahead and adjust the sun on the left side of the screen by going up on the D-pad for brighter or down on the D-pad for darker. And you wanna go ahead and make this barely visible. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this brighter so I can barely see it on my screen. I'm gonna press X and go to next. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this screen. So I can barely see it right now. Let's go to next. And here's the last screen. And this one's gonna be darker than the first two. So I'm gonna make it brighter. I can see it. Let's make it a little bit darker. And boom, I'm now done. Then I'm gonna leave deep color output, RGB range, automatic. However, you may find that if you go to RGB range and you set it to full on your monitor or TV, you may find this setting actually will allow you to have deeper blacks on your screen. Sometimes they may appear crushed, but you may like that look. So go ahead and check out RGB range and set it to full. Then I have enable 120 Hertz output. I have that just set to automatic. My TV doesn't support this. Now let's go back to the home screen on my PlayStation 5 and go over to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now there's gonna be some games like Call of Duty Warzone that have their own HDR calibration setting specifically built into the in-game settings. So if I press options now and then go over to general and then up, there specifically is an HDR calibration section right here. And under here, I'll have to do the kind of the same thing as I did before on the PlayStation 5 settings. Then there is an HDR brightness section right here where I can adjust this to the left or right to make it appear brighter or less bright. So just check with your game to see if there is a setting like that in it. So if this video did indeed help you guys out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 5 tech out videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.